Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. Today I'm going to talk about how to hook up a USB camera, cheap one. This is a VJ or SVJ camera. And make sure that this uh, USB camera has a uh, manual focus. You can get one uh, probably on eBay for around 15, 17 bucks. I don't know. It's quite cheap actually. Okay. Now, the important thing, of course, is to get a really good uh, microscope. This is a 400 time microscope. Um, how do I know it's a really good one? Because this is actually made of uh, metal, right? metal uh, uh, structure, framework, right? You have a good objective lens made of glasses, and this one as well, uh, the ocular lens is also made of uh, glasses. And you have a good base with diaphragm, you can adjust lights here, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's see, yeah, okay. And then of course you have uh, a lighting system, right? Uh, that can be a real light bulb in there. You can turn off, turn on, right, to have a real intense light. And there's even a blue filter you can put in there, okay, to um, give that contrast to the image as you look under the microscope. And of course, you have a really nice uh, adjustment knob here as well, right? So a good quality microscope, around 80 to 90 bucks, you want to purchase a uh, 400 times uh, uh, objective uh, lens including if you multiply the magnification power that's what you will get all right of course if you have the money you might want to go for the uh, uh, 1000 times but you know i don't have that kind of money so we'll stick with this type of uh, microscope you can see a lot of stuff in there um, but let's get started i'll show you how to do this okay okay so what you need is of course is a tape black tape okay we're going to put this together of course, we have to remove the uh, ocular lens. Now, here's a trick, okay? This is the simplest trick you could do, is to flip the ocular uh, lens on the opposite side, and then we're gonna tape it, right? We're gonna tape the um, ocular lens to the uh, bait, uh, the tube, okay? The uh, microscope tube. So instead of, normally it's fit snugly into the tube of the microscope here, we are now going to flip it over, right? I don't know if you can see that, let's see. See, okay, so I'm gonna flip it over like that instead of from normal position. I'm gonna flip it over the other side. Okay, it hasn't. It won't change the magnification by any means. Okay, so we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna tape it. Let's tape that with a black tape. But the good thing is, is it's temporary, so you know you can remove it, you not ruin your microscope at all, right? Okay. Of course, you need a scissor. Did I have my scissor here? Okay, there we go. It's uh around this much okay put the um, ocular lens try your best to fit it in okay it should just all right and then you tape it around make sure it's secure and voila okay that's pretty good now what you want is you take this uh, USB camera and because of the lens here right you just you're gonna just put it on top of that okay and again you want to put a tape I know you can see that let's see okay. you put it see if you can just hold on show you all right so here it is you're gonna put a tape onto that where's my black tape there we go and then you're done. It's not easy. Okay, and I'm going to show you actually what it looked like under a microscope. I have a corn uh, root you can look at. And uh, we're going to zoom in the um, medium and uh, high power as well. Okay, right now is, I'll set it to low and then I'll go to medium power and then I'll go to high power. All right? You don't have to have a fancy software. Any software that comes with the um, with the with the camera will be suffice, right? Okay. There we go. Okay, we're done. So simple. Took me less than five minutes. All right. And then we're gonna look under the microscope now and see what it looks like. Okay. So what you see here is a low power of a corn tip. Okay. So you see little dots uh, surrounding the uh, root tip, and that represents a nucleus of a cell. Okay, so we won't be able to see that under low power right now. But this is also because the camera is a VGA mode. It's a 600 
uh, 40 by 480 pixel per inch so you won't see the the um, you know the high HD quality image here okay I might have to upgrade my camera to HD camera anyway um, with the software um, I use um, UCAM that comes with this uh, VGA camera now what you could do is you can um, for example if I switch to advanced mode I can actually zoom in let me see if we can zoom in now this is a called digital zoom in okay so it's not the same thing as optical zoom in because optical zoom in you don't get this uh, pixelation pixelation okay so let's zoom in and I'll show you what I mean by that see you can see pixelation but at least you can still zoom in right so the the software could do that okay so now let's switch my uh, microscope to um, mid power okay and uh, I don't know if you can see that there we go now I have to adjust the fine adjustment knob and there we go we can see a little bit of nucleus already okay um, you can see the highlight of the dot so it's a nucleus and let's play around with the software and let's say if I want to uh, you know have more contrast and I could do that with the software let's see see I could do that back and forth okay so there we go it's pretty cool right and if you want to zoom digital zoom in we could do that there we go like I said it's not gonna show much because really what you end up doing is you um, just like uh, any thing with imaging uh, you increase the magnification you get digital magnification you get uh, pixelation like it's not the true zoom in of a uh, camera all right then let's move on to the high power this is now 400 times okay now I have the jet fine adjustment now oh there we go wow excellent image of nucleus and you can see also now because this is a plant cell you can see the cell wall right and you can see the nucleus in the middle so pretty good for a VGA camera and it took me less than five minutes to actually uh, put together so again you need a, a VGA hopefully you can get a HDV uh, camera for under maybe 40 50 bucks right you don't have to be a brand name just no name brands fine with a manual uh, focus you need a very good microscope and uh, that's it and of course the tape uh, black tape um, those duct tape whatever tape you want uh, just to put it together remember to flip the, um, the ocular lens uh, the opposite side and then tape it right okay um, next time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to measure the size of these cells um, just using simple technique like using a ruler and then we're gonna calibrate and standardize it under a microscope and so we would know for example under low power me medium power and high power the size uh, of these objects like a cell alright so I'll show you that later on just okay so I have a Logitech uh, camera um, it's actually 720p HD camera so I want you to see the comparison between my VGA camera uh, versus the HD Logitech camera 720p all right so it's 1600 by 1200 dpi versus the one i showed you previously which was uh 640 by 480 okay so you can see the image quality is already pretty good this is actually under low power uh the uh corn root tip right so low t you can see already that the, the dot is more defined under a hd camera 720p okay now let's move to the mid or medium power and see what we get alright so it's pretty good you can see that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the software to adjust the um, brightness so, so we can see it more there we go the contrast we could do that there we go okay and even uh, we can adjust the uh, yellow balance Okay. and I can even zoom in if you like see now with a HD camera zooming is actually pretty good right you don't see as much pixelation okay and we can even uh, 
zoom, uh, tilt and pan with the uh, Logitech webcam software. Now let's see if I can um, adjust the exposure and gain so we can have it more brighter. There we go. Okay, so under low, under medium and high power, you might want to do that with the gain so that you get more lighting uh, system coming in. Right, there we go. Okay, not too much, of course. There we go. And okay, now let's try the um, high power for a time. Again, okay, you can't even see much here because it's so dark. But there it is. Wow, pretty good. Let me just see if I can increase the gain on the software and exposure. Okay, very good. Okay, you can definitely see a uh, nucleus and you can see the um, cell wall of the plant. Okay, this is a corn plant, by the way. Okay, so very definitely the comparison between the uh, HD and the VGA camera, there's a big difference. I can see that already. Okay, we can adjust the brightness, the contrast, right? Um, okay. Sometime um, in the future, I will, like I said before, I will uh, show you how to measure these uh, objects, these cells, how big it is under low, medium, and high power. And then maybe I'll take some uh, sample from my aquarium and pond, the microorganism, like the amoeba, if you can find it, all these potesta single cell organism, and put it under a microscope and see what it looks like. Alright, let's have fun with these uh, new found interests in microscope and camera. Like I said, it only takes five minutes to do. You just need a tape, uh, invert your uh, ocular lens, and you need a HD camera. Um, uh, it could be those uh, webcam, HD one, right? For under maybe fit. 40 bucks. I'll talk to you soon.